This magical tool is one of the most important exercises you can do in your life. Let me tell you a really strange story, a story about what can best be described as magic. It started in 2010 when a friend of mine introduced me to a really intriguing couple called John and Missy. John and Missy are the creators of Lifebook, which many people say is the most advanced goal setting and manifesting program in the world. So in 2010, I found myself in Chicago going through a Lifebook experience in the form of a seminar. One of the Lifebook exercises was to get really crystal clear on the quality of the life you want to lead. To pretend as if the universe has your back and that any crazy dream you want could theoretically manifest. They asked you to look three to five years ahead and to write down what came from your soul. Now, what was really interesting is that in that moment, because you are so open, you're so confident, I wrote down some things which were pretty crazy. Even though at that time, I didn't have much money. I was living in a bedroom in my parents' house and my little company, today known as Mind Valley, was just barely struggling by. But before I read you this list, one big caveat. Many of us learn to set goals the completely wrong way. We decide, I want to move to New York. I want to get that job at that law firm. I want to have two kids and two cars in the garage, meet and marry the woman of my dreams. These are not bad goals, but there's a problem with these goals. When you set goals like that, more often than not, you are following not what's coming from your soul, but you are following what culture, society are telling you to do. The secret is to understand that every soul has a particular destiny, has a path that it goes on. And when you can learn to listen to the goals which are coming out from within you, you're going to have a much easier time moving towards these goals. And here's the second secret. Sometimes you do not want to be specific, especially when you're thinking about goals in relation to the quality of your life. You want to be highly unspecific. You want to focus on the what and the why, not the how, not the when, not the who. More on this later. These are some of the crazy goals I put down. I wrote down I wanted to visit 100 countries. I wanted to have access to the most influential people in the world. I wanted to be one of the world's top speakers. I wrote down I wanted to own or live in five-star resorts by the sea. I wanted to go on amazing fun adventure trips with brilliant people once a year. I wanted to live in luxury. I wanted amazing travel adventures, partying in the Mediterranean, the Caribbean, and more. I wrote I wanted to win an Emmy. And I wanted to be an online star in personal growth with 1 million active followers on my blog. Back then we used blogs, not Facebook or Instagram. So here's the crazy thing. I was not remotely close to any of those. But within five years, magic started to happen. Now how it happened is that 10 months after going for Lifebook, just 10 months after going for Lifebook, randomly out of the blue, an idea emerged from my soul. That idea was something I never thought I'd go into. It was something that seemed crazy and the idea was to start a festival. Somehow, I ended up starting a festival that today is called A-Fest. That first festival came out of a gut instinct. I just felt this was something I needed to do. Could it be that maybe the universe was guiding me, was giving me breadcrumbs towards that quality of life I'd written down? The first A-Fest happened in December 2010 and the festival sold out and it continued to grow and grow and grow. AFES led to the revival of Mind Valley. AFES led to all of the other things that I'd written down. All of a sudden, I was getting to travel and visit two to three new countries a year. All of a sudden, I was a world-class speaker because I'd created my own stage. All of a sudden, I was hanging out with all of these influential people. Guess what? AFES was happening in five-star resorts across the world. So all of a sudden, I had these luxury experiences I wanted. And at every AFES, I would pull together Mind Valley authors and my team and we'd go on travel adventures. And my desire to go on amazing adventure trips with brilliant people suddenly became real. And we're not even at the craziest part yet. AFES as a festival is not just about personal growth. We have the most amazing parties. And all of a sudden, I was having parties exactly like I'd written down in the Mediterranean at the castle from Game of Thrones, in the Caribbean, in private islands. All of this because it was part of this new product that I created for the world. And I got to play within the context of this festival. But the funniest thing is this. You see that goal, win an Emmy? I never thought I would possibly even figure out how to win an Emmy. But one day at AFES, a film director by the name of Nick Nanton shows up and creates a documentary on AFEST. 
that documentary called Live Your Quest goes on to win an Emmy. And as the producer, I got an Emmy. How freaking cool is that? So the moral of the story is this. Number one, your goals must come from your soul. Number two, when you get clear on the type of lifestyle you want, go in deep detail, focusing on the feelings and the emotions. What often happens is new ways of life emerge from you, new inspiration on what you should do, where you should be, who to connect to. You cannot possibly conjure this up from just your logical mind. The universe works in mysterious ways. And this is one of the reasons why Lifebook is one of the most powerful personal growth programs out there. It literally causes reality to bend, to have you step into this remarkable quality of life that you envision in your mind. Now, you don't just do this for quality of life. In Lifebook, you look at 12 categories. Quality of life is just one. Imagine doing this for your relationships. Imagine doing this for your health. Imagine doing this for your career. This is why Lifebook is now available on Nine Valley. After the incredible results it had in my life, I knew I wanted to get this out to more and more people. Today, you don't have to fly to Chicago to attend that seminar. Today, you can experience Lifebook by attending this masterclass that I'm conducting with John and Missy Butcher, the creators of Lifebook. This masterclass will give you a great hour-long introduction and some of the core principles. Check out the masterclass.